Greetings gentlemen and ladies, I'm the old school game snob and this is the Die Hard Sorceress. Die Hard Blizzard Sorceress to be precise. Why is she a Die Hard Sorceress? Let me show you. Uh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take a stroll down the, uh, where, where are we again? <laughs> World Stone Keep. A stroll down into the World Stone Keep and I will show you why she is the Die Hard Sorceress. Well, our first enemy is a Greater Hellspawn. Alright, so we're going to be going over this build uh, as we as we progress down the uh, down the levels. You may have noticed she's taking almost no damage. She's also poisoned that she's taking almost no damage. That is because, if you guys could be quiet for a minute, that is because we're sitting at 95% poison resistance. We're also sitting at a huge 95 damage reduction. Alright, so we got some snaky boys here. Snaky boys, hell spawns. Uh, various other things. I'm just going to continue strolling here. What you may also be noticing is that Bone Spear is doing very little, almost no damage. That is because we are sitting at a very impressive 75 flat magic damage reduction. Alright, continuing to stroll. Now, the Snaky Boys are actually one of the things that can get damaged through, and there's a lot of things that can't get, get damaged through to this character at all. Uh, she is, of course, a blizzard sorceress with a nice, strong blizzard, 3,000 to 3,300 3, blizzard. Uh, that skill is on top of just massive, massive, massive amounts of damage reduction. So she can dish it out. She can dish it out, but she can also take it even better than she can give it. All right, let's keep scroll scrolling down. Well, let's keep strolling down, see if we can counter some other types of monsters down here. And I'll show you some of the capabilities and uh, give you the overview of what this character is all about. Now, you may have noticed that I'm walking instead of running. All right, here we go. Some, uh, what are these? Hell Temptresses. These are nice. You may have noticed that our health is, uh, well, it was going up until we got poisoned. And that is because we're sitting on a huge amount of fire absorption. We've got uh, Hellmouth Gauntlets here. Uh, we've also got two Dwarf Star Rings. Both of these provide fire absorption. They also provide magic damage reduction, which I was talking about before. Uh, Hellmouth Gauntlet is a flat 15 fire absorb. The Dwarf Star Rings are 15% fire absorb. We're also sitting at a fire resistance of 85% in thanks uh, part due to the Inferno Stride Boots over here, which give a maximum plus 10 to fire resist, which means that a lot of things actually heal her. You may notice also that she's counter-attacking everything that's doing a ranged attack at her. We're just standing here and stuff is just dying, <laughs> right? That is because uh, we... Let me let me show you the skill tree here really quick. All right, so in her skill tree, we're basically pure cold, uh, kind of a standard blizzard setup. We have maximum into blizzard, we have maximum into glacial spike, we have maximum into ice blast, maximum into ice bolt. Uh, we have just two points into Cold Mastery to get it up to 45%. That is because when combined with the Conviction Aura from Infinity, from our Mercenary, who I will pull out in, a, in just a minute, who is an absolute beast, by the way, on his own, uh, we get like 130% uh, cold, uh, minus cold enemy resistance. And I think that is as much as you need to basically nullify most creatures, if not all creatures, uh, uh, to... to uh, is that what it is? I think it's pretty close. It's pretty close to being able to nullify most hell creatures. So we're saving our points instead of being able to maybe occasionally take down a slightly more buff cold mastery, uh, cold immune creature, cold resistant creature, and instead just kind of focusing on the more general average damage. So buffing up our blizzard first and getting enough cold mastery that most stuff is uh, minus to its maximum. Most stuff. Uh, we're also maxed out in chilling armor. And that is because... Chilling Armor gives us a huge defense boost, 267% uh, at current level. Uh, that combined with some of our very impressive armor, uh, which I'll talk about in just a minute, gives us a very big defense. Okay, here we go. Some Doom Knights and Oblivion Knights, and also some little Soul Killers. Uh, so one thing we also have, like I say, is a very high defense rating. And on top of a high defense rating, we have a very high block rating. Right, so two, I have actually put 240 points into Dexterity. The uh, Doom Knights are actually one of the monsters that is able to get some damage through as well, but you can see it's not too bad. You can also see that the Oblivion Knights are throwing those little, uh, what are they called, um, uh, spirit skulls, skull spirits? I forget what they're called. They do magical damage, but we're entirely absorbing and taking no damage from those uh, uh, magical attacks. That's because we have 75 magic damage reduction, 95 
physical uh, uh, damage reduction. Uh, and uh, let's say we we even have a conviction or a or sorry a amplify or did we have amplify? I can I don't know if we had amplify damage on or not. But she's able to survive even with amplified damage on pretty well, although it does amplify damage somewhat. Uh, like I say, uh, this is actually compounded even better once we get our mercenary, and I'll show you that in just a minute. But uh, in order to get that much armor and damage reduction, let's go somewhere a little bit quieter. Hell temptresses. Let's see. We've already checked you guys. We've already we've already seen you guys. You guys can't do much. All right. Um. There we go. Is that enough bad guys to stand in the middle of? <laughs> now we actually do have amplified damage on. So amplified damage is something to sort of watch out for a little bit because damage will start getting through all of our damage resistance a degree more. Like I say, diehard sorceress, not totally unkillable. Um, but let's take a, let's find a quiet spot so I can show you some of these th some of these things a little bit easier. Um, we're sitting on the Jade Dan Tando Chris, like I told you before. We have 95% poison resistance, and that is thanks to this weapon. This gives us 95 poison resist plus 20 maximum poison resist. We're also sitting on Gladiator's Bane, socketed with a Mal Rune. Uh, this gives us a huge amount of of both physical and magical damage reduction. A Mal Rune adds seven more damage reduction. Uh, I'm using a Jade Amulet of the Everlasting Life Everlasting. And that is basically, this guy's making too much noise, that is basically to add some more physical damage reduction. Uh, on top of that, we are sitting on a coronet of life everlasting, and this one's socketed with a soul rune, again, to add more damage reduction. If you could find an artisan version of this and get two or three open sockets and throw even more in there, this is like a base 21, it can roll up to 25, this is base 21, it can roll up to 25, so you could even get more damage reduction than one I've got here. You could probably get another 15, maybe like 15 more damage reduction on magic or uh, on magic or physical. So uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see what else. Okay. Well, okay. Here we go. This is actually good. A good little example. Here we have uh, uh, pit lords. These are no problem. That is because they keep spitting fire. Ghoul lords, no problem. Everything here is just healing us. So nothing here does any, any damage. Actually, it just helps. It just helps, it doesn't hurt. There we go. Our blizzard, like I say, is nice and fast and efficient. She's got plenty of kill power, even though she is as defensive as she is. And when the mercenary comes out, which I'll show you in a minute, oh, it just gets so much better. It gets, we've, we've got him, him buffed up so nicely. Uh, she does not have much mana. And the, the reason for that is because she doesn't need much mana. She doesn't have much faster cast. And that is also because Blizzard is on a cast timer. So faster cast doesn't really help us. Instead of faster cast, we've focused on damage reduction gear. Uh, so that's, you know, kind of the unique, unique and weird setup. I bet, I bet you've never seen a setup like this before. This took me about two days of testing to finally come up with a fairly workable version of it. I tried all sorts of variations. Um, you could, you know, swap on something like Crown of Ages in there. You could swap out something like Storm Shield for for 35% physical damage reduction. Socket that with like a Soul Rune or something. I'm trying to figure out what I like better. I think this is the best version of it. And like I say, if you were able to find an Artisan's uh, or Jeweler or Artisan's two or three open socket version of this with maybe like some skills or actually or or with some skills, I guess, because mag magic will roll one or the other. Man, this could be an even sillier. So all in all, yeah, like I say, we've got a huge defense, we've got huge block, we've got resistances and absorbs, we have huge poison re uh, poison reduction, we've just got it all, we just got it all. Um, <laughs> let's grab our mercenary here, and uh, let's stroll into, <clears throat> um, we'll stroll into Chaos Sanctuary, and I'll show you how, she, she's a, she was an excellent performer in Chaos Sanctuary. Okay, so for our mercenary, Oh yeah, I took his stuff off because I, I had to get him. He can't die. He basically doesn't die if I don't uh, take off his gear. He's just too strong. He's got Infinity. You could swap that for Reaper's Toll, but uh, Infinity combined with the amount of cold mastery that we have, like I say, minus 130% enemies of resistance when you combine those two things, allows us to jam more points into the synergies of Blizzard and still maintain that 
pretty near maximum minus enemy cold resistance when you combine with infinity but if you didn't have infinity you could use reaper's toll instead and put less into something like ice bolt or ice blast and raise your own cold mastery up cold mastery does give you a better bang for your buck than additional damage uh, depending on which monster you're fighting of course so we've got fortitude andariel's visage socketed with a cham rune and the reason we're socketing with a cham rune let's go open to traveling co actually i'll show you how she performs over there the reason we're socketing with a cham rune is uh, to prevent our mercenary from getting frozen <clears throat> he can still get decrepified of course but he can't get frozen uh, which means that he'll constantly be putting out that damage and uh, being able to stay alive a lot easier that being said wow wow <laughs> wow we're have, running into some issues with those guys oh poor mercenary usually he doesn't have much issue it probably helps once he gets his aura up by the way we have him running the defiance aura and you'll see just how quickly he takes stuff down here in a second um <clears throat> yeah one shot one shot Let's head back over here. I think we got our... No, we don't have to find Sora yet, up yet. But that will help quite a bit. Typically, most stuff can't hurt this mercenary. Most stuff. The council seems to be an exception to that. But you may have noticed the council can't really hurt our sorceress. And that is because they're doing lightning damage and fire damage. Even with an amplified damage on her, she's basically just healing from all of this. This is all just lol, 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 lol. This is no problem. <laughs> all right. All right, so I'm having some FBS issues. I'm just going to pause and, and reset. All right, let's go for a walk into the River of Flame, and you can see just how well this build does. I'll uh, let some things try to kill us for the fun. But, I mean, typically you'd just be running in, throwing down your blizzard, and I'll show you, like, some of her kill power, because she's got excellent kill power. In addition to all of her defensiveness, she's just got excellent kill power. And that is where the mercenary really comes into play, uh, because we've maximized one elemental damage type, when we do encounter those cold immunes, we want a mercenary that can take care of it. Typically, I'd skip past all of this stuff if I was just farming, because it's not really worth killing. But the stuff we need to kill, the mercenary is able to do that very, very well. Here we go. Let's see how these Doom Knights do. We've already tested Doom Knights, haven't we? Doom Knights are one of the things that can get some hits through. Most hits don't get through because of that block and defense. Uh, man, my mercenary still hasn't procced his, his aura. That's so strange. <laughs> um, when he does, uh, defense is going to go way, way up. Way, way, way up. Hopefully one day he'll actually proc his aura. It's been like an age <laughs> since he's, since he's uh, been fighting things so far. So yeah, basically the idea is to use Blizzard to clear out anything not cold immune pretty quick, pretty easy, and uh, that basically also takes a lot of the heat off of our mercenary, who is then able to mop up anything with cold immunities. And uh, the sorceress, for her part, just kind of stands where the Blizzard is, lets monsters kind of just be in the Blizzard, and because she's able to just stand there and tank it, um, yeah, we can just make sure all the monsters are exactly where we want them to be. Gotta drink those heal potions, though, or those mana potions, uh, with the Stormcasters, which drain mana, I believe. Something's draining a little bit of mana. I'm pretty sure it's those Stormcasters. These guys will just heal us, basically. All that fire will just heal us. Uh, Mercenary might need to be pulled back a little bit in regard, um, when he gets surrounded. He's very, very strong, very, very tanky but not totally immune. Like I say, diehard sorceress and her diehard mercenary friend. Very hard to kill, not totally impossible. My initial idea was actually to try to just break the game and make a totally unkillable character. Um, I think I've come pretty close, but not perfect. Not 100% perfect. This would be a very fun, uh, very good uh, hardcore character though. I can tell you that much. Like I say, uh, she just absorb so much damage even counter attacks which is kind of nice let's see venom lords they'll do nothing grab lord decease here lord decease and his minion pack could do damage yeah there it is that little uh cold explosion oh there he goes yeah we've got like an extra strong mod i think on those guys so there are some some mods which can still get through but um yeah, typically when you're when you're encountering elite packs, you're not just standing there and and taking uh, what taking the best shot on the chin. 
That's typically not the best way to do things. But uh, for the purpose of demonstration, that's mostly what I'm doing here. Let's see. We'll take out Diablo. And uh, then we'll do some cows. And then that'll be uh, a build video. Uh, but yeah, this is a, a, a very fun, kind of trolly, but actually pretty weirdly effective. Like I say, her blizzard kill speed doesn't really suffer much. You know, even with uh, as much gear that we have that's specifically for damage reduction instead of for like boosting up skills and stuff her uh, her kill power is still plenty good enough in my humble opinion there we go that's good let's go finish Diablo uh, I believe I got one point into warmth just to help with some mana regen and of course you could grab static field if you like it I don't really care about it that much blizzard kills fast enough so it doesn't really matter we'll see if Diablo can actually hurt us at all here I don't think he can I think we're basically immune to Diablo. Yeah, there's his, let's see, there's his cage, his yeah, lightning spell, basically does no damage, and uh, yeah, we're basically immune to Diablo. <laughs> Our mercenary's just gonna kill him. There we go. Take a little bit of lightning damage, not too bad. Yep, no, sorry buddy. <laughs> You're not going to do the trick. Let's go uh, deal with some cows. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this weird little build. This is a weird little build that's pretty fun. I mean, if you like being invincible, it's pretty fun. Um, yeah, and I do. I, I like being invincible. It's, 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 it's fun to just casually stroll your sorceress around and feel like nothing can even hurt you. It's like, get out of the way, everything. Just get out of the way. <laughs> All right, there's Wurt's leg, grab that, open up a cow level, kill some cows. Um, but yeah, I think I've gone over the whole build now. You guys know how to put it together. And the thing is that aside from infin Infinity, this is a reasonably priced build, right? Like Thunder Gods, Dwarf Star, Hellmouth, you have to gamble for these. I found several of these in gambling, I don't know, maybe like 10 million gold, so those are easy to find. That's nothing, that's nothing. All of these all of this gear with the exception of infinity which like I say you could swap out for Reaper's Toll all of this gear is actually pretty budget um, the only thing you're gonna actually need to stock up on is potentially a bunch of like resistance charms that is the one thing that will actually require some doing is getting enough resistance charms to uh, to max out your your resistances but otherwise it's pretty cheap pretty budget okay all right Let's see some cows. Teleport into the middle of the cows. Do we even... We, so weird. I don't know why my Merc isn't triggering his Defiance Aura yet. Oh, we best because I gave him a Might Aura. That's right. I swapped that out for a Might Aura. That's why. That's why. I'm an idiot. Some of you in the channel are laughing because you've seen the Might Aura the whole time. Yep. That's fine. I think that was the Cow King. Not too sure. Oh, there's some things. Um, let's see here. Yeah. Anyway, into the center of all these cows we go. Usually those halberds, or halbreds, halberds or halberds. I never forget. Remember which one? Are usually uh, they usually hit pretty hard, but not too much of a problem to just be able to stand here. Occasionally they'll get through. Occasionally. Oh, there's a champion in there. They hit harder. Yeah ghostly champion so we had a bit of a champion pack in there getting through and even still even with the champion pack not too bad I like to just stand in the middle we'll gather them all up <laughs> we'll gather them all up and then we'll unleash our mighty blizzard Mo, Mo. <laughs> it's Mo. Uh, but yeah with the conviction aura and our, our amount of cold mastery, I would dare say we've probably nullified any cold resistance on these hull, hell bovine entirely, I would say. I think, I, I can't remember what their exact stats are for resistances. 
But um, yeah, decently good kill speed on this sorceress. Able to deal with uh, any any area, basically any area, with the help of her mercenary. And so, so tanky. She's a diehard. Yeah, she's an absolute diehard. Meow. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> uh, good fun. Anyway, that's it, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll catch you in the next one.